Hi guys, in this video I'm going to explain how to get a Tesla Model 3 or Y and this most of the stuff applies to SNX uh, 20, uh, 21 or newer roughly. Uh, so if your car came with a lithium low voltage battery then what's going to happen if the car gets into an accident and the airbags or seat belts blow up is the VC front is going to enter into a load shed mode. Uh, when that happened when that happens, you can clear the load shed mode using two bucks if your software version is 2022.44 or newer, there's an option in the two box to clear post-crash load shed. Uh, if your software is older than that, or if you do not have access to two box, then what you need to do is you need to replace the VC front. And what the VC front is, is this module right here and the car it's located in this area it doesn't take too much effort to replace it um, another thing that happens is if your battery was drained for a few months if the car was sitting for I don't know let's say four months and, and over approximately then you might need to replace this this battery as well uh, do not cut it open to try to recharge it that's not necessary anymore the car will not recognize the battery if it's been dead for too long if the battery drained below nine volts it's not going to recognize it you can't recover it if you bought a new battery and it drained to low voltage it's not going to drain to low enough value where the car will not recognize it the car will recognize it and it will start recharging it if you do a software update and if you uh if the contactor goes and the uh, post crash load shed is uh, cleared on the vc front anyhow that's a separate story don't bother with this battery until you get the vc front reset and the contactor goes. so if you don't have access to toolbox or if your version of software is lower than 2022.44 then you need to replace this i actually sell these for 300 dollars uh, and I pay 100 bucks for the old VC front. Uh, that's an option that I provide. Or you can buy one from Tesla for 330 plus tax. Another thing that you will need to need if you're gonna replace this, you need a power supply that can handle, that can produce approximately 13.5 volts, between 13.5 and 15.5 approximately. And it must handle 40 amps. 50 amps would be preferred. So replace the VC front, then power the car from a power supply. It needs to be 13.5. You can't use a 12 volt power supply. That's not high enough. And then power the car up. Enter the service mode. And in the service mode, um, click software reinstall. After that, uh, hopefully uh, contactors are gonna close. And then the low voltage battery uh, is gonna get, gonna start charging. Uh, another thing, if the VC front is in the load shed mode, the service mode will not load. So that's one of the symptoms. That's one of the ways you can tell that the car is in uh, in this uh, load shed mode. The service mode was just gonna spin and spin and spin. So there you have it. If you have any questions, uh, please post them in the comments. And if this video was useful to somebody, please uh, post a comment. Thank you.